To create a WhatsApp group is a very easy process, but it might now just change in Jammu and Kashmir. To clamp down on rumor mongering groups in uh, Jammu and Kashmir, police out there has now decided that all group admins on WhatsApp have to register their WhatsApp groups with the district administration and whoever fails to do so will be prosecuted. We are living in a time when fake news and rumours spread like jungle fire and the JNK police has taken an initiative to curb this. I am joined by DGP, Jammu and Kashmir Police, SP Vaid, sir. Commendable say first of all. What are you planning to do? Sir? See, the uh, district SP Kishtabad has taken this uh, uh, initiative uh, along with Deputy Commissioner of Kishtabad that uh, the um, WhatsApp groups, whoever is making, the admin has to register with NIC in the Deputy Commissioner's office so that he, they are made accountable. You just can't upload whatever you get and uh, spread rumours, spread malicious propaganda, spread uh, anti-national material. So, similar thing, I have uh, requested the zonal IG, uh, IGs of both the zones to uh, follow that in all other districts, similar steps are taken so that WhatsApp admin are regulated and they don't spread hatred, they don't spread malicious and anti-national material. So, which kind of groups will come under the ambit? So, because we know there are some funny groups also, there are some jokes groups also and there are some propaganda groups also. Which kind of groups are you targeting, Prime of SI? Everyone has to register ad admin. If those who don't shall be prosecuted under law. So, sir, in this case, how are you planning to go ahead with it, sir? Because we know WhatsApp is an end-to-end -end encrypted service. You may not be able to find the admin, you may not be able to find the recipient of the message. So, in that way, have you had a word with the WhatsApp or the platform, sir? Let's see. We, we, we are in touch with them and we'll do whatever is necessary. Thank you. SSP Saab has reported that there are many WhatsApp groups that have rumors that upload rumors in the shape of videos, audios or textual videos. We have a quarter of an hour that you have to be rumors that you have to be aware of this kind of rumors. Otherwise, the action will be different acts of different acts. और तमाम हमने इनके एडमिन्स या जो मेंबर्स हैं उनसे उनके गैंस टेक्शन होगा बहुत द पार्टीज के गैंस ये नहीं कि एडमिन हैं तो उसके गैंस टेक्शन होगा और एडमिन्स को कहा कि वो यहाँ आके हमारे दफ्तर में आके अपने ग्रुप को रजिस्टर करें हमारे पास ताकि उसका एक पिछे रिकॉर्ड रहे और जब कुछ and Pradeep Datta now joining us live. Uh, Pradeep, this is extremely a welcome move they're taken in uh, by the administration given the current climate. But the obvious question here being how are they going to implement it? How are they going to monitor these WhatsApp group admi administrations? Uh, and given the vast use of this instant messaging app it's going to be a very very tall task isn't it unless and until it's a proper action plan that's been put in place yes you're absolutely right it will take a lot of time in fact to implement their order also because uh, it has become a quite nuisance here in a volatile state like Jammu and Kashmir where situation is uh, in fact uh, very disturbing we have seen that a lot many people are being mobilized they are made to come out on streets towards the groups only and already they have started tightening rules against those WhatsApp admins. They have been asked to register their WhatsApp groups and already uh, in Kishwar we saw that uh, 21 WhatsApp uh, group admins have been served notices. They have been asked that why they have not been able to register their groups within a stipulated period of 10 days because few days back in fact the notice was issued by the district magistrate in that area. He asked them to register their WhatsApp group. It was only five of them, few of them officials who got their WhatsApp group registered. Most of them just stayed away. They didn't take it very seriously. And finally, the notice had been served and they had been given more time. If within a stipulated period, 
they are not able to register their goods, while action will be initiated, they will be prosecuted as per law under so and so section of Ranbir Panel Code here in Jammu and Kashmir. But we have seen that during the last uh, few months, uh, WhatsApp had really become a kind of a headache for these security agencies, especially uh, in Kashmir Valley, where the WhatsApp groups were used to mobilize people. They were glorifying terror, romanticizing gun culture, and also trying to spread rumors, trying to, in fact, uh, instigate people to come out on the street, Pelstone, especially whenever encounters were going on, making them to play the role of an obstruction so that they can help the terrorists flee from the respective areas. And uh, at some, uh, on certain occasions, they've also found that these WhatsApp groups are trying to spread rumors where they were trying to create wedge between different communities. For the last three months, in fact, they had been monitoring several WhatsApp groups. And after that, uh, finally, they reached the conclusion that this was a high time when they have to get these admins registered. If they are not going to register their WhatsApp group with their respective uh, district commissioner's office, finally, the notices will be served and action will be initiated against them. And this is, in fact, a warning to them now just to be seen what kind of action will be initiated. You rightly said that it will not be that easy to monitor mm -hmm. each and every WhatsApp group because there's a mushroom, uh, mushrooming of these WhatsApp groups here in the state of uh, Jammu and Kashmir. But yes, uh, the process has started and I think it's a welcome step, especially in a striped on region-like state of Jammu and Kashmir where we have seen how the Pakistan and Pakistan proxies often try to use the social medium not only to indoctrinate and brainwash a young yes. mind but also to spread intimidating material, uh, terror-related activities and also mobilize youngsters to come out on street and so that the vicious cycle of violence continues and the situation remains destabilized here in this region. Absolutely. This is a step in the right direction in curbing fake news and the first acknowledgement also coming in by a state government that how social media, how these apps are being used as a tool to incite violence, to incite unrest in the state. So we'll see whether or not other states also take a cue from Jammu and Kashmir and adopt similar measures. Pradeep Datta, thanks for joining in and getting us those inputs for the moment.